This is your pelvis, and uh, the pelvis is a good bone to know, especially if you're a female and you are planning on giving birth, because then you can have a better idea of what's going to happen to you. It's a horrendous thing, unless you like that sort of thing. <laughs> okay, the pelvis is made of three bones, the ilium up here, the ischium down here, and the pubic bone up here. So if I were going to ask you the three bones, I would be very, I would, I would make sure that I, I pointed to the three different regions up here. Which bone is it? Down here, point down here for ischium, point up here for ilium, and point right to the front and up top for the pubic bone. Now where the two pubic bones come together, this is called the pubic symphysis. Up here, this is called the pubic crest. And down here, this is the pubic angle. It's the pubic angle. These two holes, these are the obturator foramina, singular. This is called the obturator foramen. This is an obturator foramen. It's not completely, uh, not a complete open hole in your body. It's covered by the obturator membrane, but uh, it's a big open hole in a skeleton anyway. Okay, down here, on the ischium, if someone has a really bony butt and they sit on you, it's this ischium that's giving you a hard time when they sit on you. This ischium right there. These are called the ischial tuberosities that are on my hand. These are the ischial tuberosities. And they mark the bottom of the pelvic outlet. If you're giving birth to a child, the child goes in through the pelvic inlet and out through the pelvic outlet, out through those tuberosities there. These pointy things that are sticking inward, let me see if I can get to them looking through the video camera, just right here and over here, right here, these are the ischial spines. And so if you're a little fetal head, you're going through there and you're navigating through those ischial spines there sticking inward. Another thing you have to navigate through if you're a the fetus, you go through the pelvic inlet, and this is called actually the pelvic brim around this region. And you go also through this thing. This is the sacrum. This bone is the sacrum. And this is the coccyx. This bone is the coccyx. And it's been, on, on this model, this is actually a real bone. And it's been passed around quite a few times, and the coccyx was broken off. So the coccyx would be pointing in just a little bit more. And if you're the fetus, your head would go through here, and this the most sticky inward part of the sacrum would be this part, which is called the sacral promontory. So that was the sacral promontory. If I angle it all around like this, you might see how it's sticking inwards toward the inner part of the pelvis. So things that would poke you if you're a baby or go inward would be the sacral promontory, the coccyx would be facing inward, and these spines of the ischium would be going inwards. All right, some other things to know on this pelvis would be uh, these flared portions of the ilium are called the iliac crest, and these depressions in the ilium are called the iliac fossa or fossae would be plural. So this is the iliac fossa over here, and here's another iliac fossa over there. Now this region, right here, and this region, if I get it to the side, that sticks up, it's a spine of the ilium. So this is the, and it's the highest spine on the ilium, and it's in the front of the ilium. So this is called the anterior superior iliac spine. And this is our next little spine that sticks out, and this is also on the ilium, so it's called the anterior inferior iliac spine. Here's the anterior superior iliac spine, and here's the anterior inferior iliac spine. Those are hard to say. Same thing over here, anterior superior iliac spine, and here's the anterior inferior 
iliac spine. And I believe there's just one more thing to know, and that would be this big region right here. It's not supposed to have a hole in it. It's just developed a hole over the years. Same with this side. It's not supposed to have a hole in it. Uh, this is our acetabulum, and this is the part of the hip bone that articulates with the femur. And so if I pull Robert over here, I'll show you. Here is the head of the femur that articulates with the acetabulum of the hip bone. So there's the acetabulum, here's the head of the femur, and that's how that works. It's a ball and socket joint. Thank you, Robert. And that'll be that. Boom, boom.